Okay, so first off, I, I usually do this on my laptop, but there's some problems with my video editing software with my like webcam. And if you can see, this is the webcam I use for videos. So I need to upgrade that. I don't know when, but hopefully it'll solve itself out by tomorrow because Kirk on the Basket Season 3 comes out and I'm planning on reviewing the whole series for that. Uh, so, I'm going to be doing my first impression of Assassination Classroom, Episode 1. Now, I told Shaq about this series, like, I think around January, not, not January, like around summertime or fall time of last year. And seeing that how much, how much growth, like, in the manga, like, it was in the top 10 of the mid, of the mid, um, Manga sales of 2014 and 20 and uh, at the end I think it was around top 10 or somewhere around there, but it, but everyone seems to like it in Japan and it just came out in the U.S. like this like uh last month or so when I got it and um see and uh volume two is coming out in uh, February and uh it Shaq he he. He doesn't like it that much. It's mostly comedy, and he's and Shaq. He usually likes you know some of the whole romance, slice of life, action stuff, like whatever. I like that stuff too, but um, he he didn't really like it as much. It wasn't his cup of tea. But um, I find it pretty funny, and um, I read it like around thirty five chapters, I think, of this. I still need to catch up to the manga, but maybe I might just watch the anime of this. And then see where it picks up, and then just start reading from there. Uh, I'm still trying to read from my whole catching up series to do. Um, so the the series this series Assassination Classroom it is about Kuro Sensei, who is on the cover, who's almost on every cover of this series, is trying to blow up the Earth in like before graduate, like before graduation, and everyone in his classroom has to try to kill him. And receiving the bounty that they put on him, which was, I believe, was 85 billion yen. And I think the conversion rate in the U.S. is like around eight, eight hundred, eight hundred fifty million dollars at least, or somewhere around there. And um, so they're all trying to like, he's trying to like blow up the earth, and and to show him that he mean he means business, he blew off like parts of the moon, and I was like, oh man, this this guy is serious, but he's not really on the serious note, he's pretty funny, he's pretty funny, uh, what, and how it makes it impossible for this huge octopus alien type creature trying to kill him, he's got Mach 20 speed, and it makes it really hard for these kids to try to kill him, and adults, and, and, uh, showing that that they the government like made these BB these like little BB guns that, like things that can like pellets that can that like actually hurt him. Uh, it's it's kind of it's kind of funny how they put that to kill to, pretty much to kill him instead of real guns because y you know if if they used real guns in in this series there's gonna be a lot of controversy like maybe someone in Japan might say like bring a gun to school and say I'm gonna kill my sensei or something like that uh, but that was that was taken from. Ch Chibi's reviews. I was just trying to be funny right there, but that was that was pretty funny. Chibi, that was pretty funny. Um, but uh, there was the, in the main protagonist of this series. I believe his name was um. I got the monitor right here. His name was like uh, let's see. They have like a character profile on each of these in the manga. Like they got hit of uh, Kuro Sensei's picture right there, and um. And oh yeah, Nausicaa. Nausicaa is the main protagonist of the series, and um, people are kind of confused. Like, is this a boy or is this a girl? Because he kind of looks feminine a little bit. But he's a boy. He's a boy. I'll tell you that. Uh, I guess their mistake was to like make him too feminine or something. But uh, and another another thing about this series, there's a lot of characters to remember. There's a lot of characters, like. I, I don't know how I'm going to keep up with all these characters, like, in the series, but I guess I'll just stick with Kuro Sensei and Nausicaa and, um, two other, two other characters, which I'll probably talk about in the next episode. If I do make this a weekly thing, I, I don't know. Uh, there's, like, two other characters that I like, and I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, just, just go read the, uh, I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's a boy and a girl. I'll, I'm going to say that. 
but they're they're pretty hilarious. I can't wait to see them in the anime, and um, and also in this episode showing that um, showing that Nasuka he did this whole suicide pellet thing, and she, seeing how Kuro Sensei like, really cares for him, like he he protected him from getting hurt, and and these three bullies like they're about to get like a they're about to get their their you know what's whooped and and seeing that you know Colonel Sensei is also funny too because sometimes he can mean business and sometimes he can be funny but you guys will see when the series progresses you'll see how funny he is and uh and if I have to say anything this is a I, I recommend I would recommend this to anyone that likes a new comedy and and uh it's pretty funny. I'm a, I'm I'm starting collecting these, and um, I don't know if I'll get the Japanese imports of it. I'll, I'll just stick with the English ones for now. Um, another another video. Uh, I think I might do an impression video of Tokyo Ghoul Route A or something around like that. Or I don't know. I'll have to see what my um video editing software does. But overall, this episode was basically nine out of ten. It had a great animation. The, they did curl since they well. The, um, besides the whole Nasica like looking kind of, kind of feminine, I guess that's that's up to the writers like about that the author. And um, just to, to, to tell you, he's a boy. I'll tell you, he he he's a dude. But um, this was a pretty good episode. It it was pretty great. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep on reviewing this, but uh. Maybe I might review the episodes that are really, really funny and when my favorite characters show up. I'll, I'll guarantee that.